How I Met Your Mother, how'd you feel about the show? Loved the show. You loved the show, and you loved the cast. Loved the show, loved the cast. Our director, Pam Fryman, directed every episode. She was fantastic. Right. Uh, loved the character. Loved, like, I got to wear suits and and be like this super macho alpha male guy. It was just a great role. So and it was great, too, because it revived, I don't want to say revived your career. It wasn't like you died and, you know, got right, away. Right. But but it was kind of the trajectory was Doogie Howser. Yeah, you could do some Lifetime movies. <laughs> but then you did Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar. Which yeah. is a, a dumb stoner film. Yeah. But Harold and Kumar, who saw you in Harold and Kumar and thought of you for, um, uh, what did they think of you for? For the, for the, for the show on CBS, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I think... Carter and Craig, who, were, who wrote How I Met Your Mother, had seen Harold and Kumar and thought that my You'd hipness quotient was higher than it had been previously, maybe. <laughs> right. I don't know. It made you hip, because you guess. were in a stoner movie. Yeah, I yeah. think so, a little bit. And you think that's how uh, How I Met Your Mother came about? Didn't hurt. Right. And How I Met Your Mother, I thought you would have made more money on that show. You made $250,000 an episode when it ended. Did, how do you know that? Because I know it. <laughs> I, I, I know everything. <laughs> We we were we were well paid by the end for sure. Are you happy with what you were paid on that show? <laughs> Are you kidding? In my humble estimation, two hundred fifty thousand dollars a week. Now wait a second. Yes, I was happy with that. Any normal <laughs> situation, that sounds extraordinary. Except in show business, where if you're the main guy, which I think you became the draw on that show, if I may say so. Do you think so? Well, I think Barney was a kind of a breakout uh, role character, but right. I don't, it certainly was a proper ensemble for the entire run of the thing. Does it's not every, like it spun towards Barney. Does everyone make $250,000 a By week? By the end, yeah, everyone made the same. They did. Mm -hmm. And you, how do you know that? How do you know somebody isn't getting paid more? Oh, uh, because that, that weird, like weird, nasty negotiation times when all of a sudden it's season four, four to five, and it's time to like see. Now we're in syndication, so everyone starts asking for more money, and right. everyone gathers together internally and decides: Do we want to go individually and try and do our make our own deals, or do we want to go unified as a cast and all go together? And isn't it weird when you have a cast like How I Met Your Mother, mm. and there's you know five of you who want to go in together, and there's like one holdout who says, you know. Five you guys, I think I can do better on my own. It it, it could break up an ensemble <laughs> cast, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it why could. do you laugh? Because that happened, didn't it? Uh, no, that, not exactly that way. But I certainly, I was more in the latter camp than the former camp. So the asshole was you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't an asshole. I just felt like it. It seemed like we all had individual careers that we had nurtured up until that point. And so right. when you end up with an agent and a manager and an attorney that you've like, you have relationships with them and they're hardcore fighting for you financially for your future. Right. That, that, that to have solidarity with someone who has done less or has, you know... They benefit from uh, sort of brought under, up by right. your Understood, but it's, yeah. a, you know, you know CBS and you yeah. know how the, the industry of television and the Hollywood works. Right. Is your work, you know, you're fighting for yourself and your take within it. So, and so it wasn't like I was trying to take someone else's money. I just wanted my team to fight as hard as they could for me for <laughs> my next season's work. Why did you go and eventually uh, uh, go in with all of them and, and come up to the same level? Well, because we got eight seasons out of it. We were, we were about to not have a ninth season. Um, and then we all sort of got together and said, this was not my doing. This was just like an extra season, like a fantastic final lap. Right. And why shouldn't everyone reap the benefits of that? By season nine, I feel like everyone has proven their worth on the show. Everyone is providing and, and deserves to get paid well. <laughs>